Hi everybody, Jason Ross Jr. alongside Ed Rule, the coach of a team that deserves a pretty lengthy introduction. 33 wins, a program record, WAC tournament champs for the first time in program history, the first ever NAIA tournament appearance, and the WAC tournament champions of 2019. Coach, I have a poster here for you that I want to show you. You remember this year? It's uh, awesome. Signed yes. by All their signatures player. on it, for sure. Yes, every player on your team after the WAC tournament championship win over Madonna. What does this poster here mean to you? Oh, so it's a it's a great feeling. It's a culmination of a lot of uh, hard work by the team, and, and, and again, uh, my assistant coach was a godsend. He does a great job with uh, uh, peopling, as he calls it, dealing with all the little issues and that stuff. And then uh, I think it's a great thing for LTU because uh, uh, we were able to over the last three years put together twenty win seasons, and then last year we just had a bust out year when they were, you know, the big guns were seniors. So, so, yeah, it was uh, definitely extra special and something that you just dream about. And after the season, you guys were given what felt like a litany of different awards. One of them was to you, Coach of the Year, your first Coach of the Year award. What did that mean to you? So I think it's, it's you know, awards are nice. I think uh, celebrating with the team and, and the team meeting before the, the last match at Nationals was the highlights. But it's always great to, to be recognized by uh, – uh, the AVCA uh, as one of the premier coaches, a regional coach of the year and that stuff. And that it was beautiful to see all my peers uh, in the coaching world see that. And uh, What impact, what was the influence that the coaching staff attempted to have on the group this year throughout the season? Um, I think we, we took a, a different tact. You know, again, we, we, we wanted to make sure that uh, the kids weren't burned out. Dave and I both understood that this was going to be a long season. Right. And then the girls don't understand what playing in December meant, you know, and then they were you had to throttle them down when you get in in August because they want to go and fight and, you know, whatever. And you kind of got to, you know, bring that culture of positivity and bring that culture that it is a day in, day out. Respect everybody, fear nobody, do the work. And that's one of those things that uh, the positivity and then also having our great senior leadership helped out with all the small little problems and and whatever and when the team takes ownership it makes the head coach's job way easier and when the assistant coach helps out with uh, as much as dave did it still makes my job way easier uh so so i love the the break on that i think uh uh it was kind of a blessing to have the seniors uh that were so talented all play well at the end of the year too that was uh, pretty amazing um our less is more type thing worked out because we didn't have a serious injury all year so, so we had a couple ankles and, and, and maybe a concussion, potential concussion that somebody was out. But other than that, there was no serious injuries because we like to give them time off so they can still be uh, 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 young ladies and still get their school work done. And then when we get into the gym, we just rock and roll. Mention the championship that you guys won in the rack regular season and the tournament. What do you feel will be the key to repeating that success? We know one of the most challenging tasks in sports is to repeat. What will be the key to doing that? Oh, boy. I, I mean, I think uh, uh, one game at a time, I think, is one of the mantras that we're going to have to have because we got this big bullseye on our back now. And then uh, uh, three of our studs, uh, four of our uh, seniors played a ton of minutes and losing a couple All-Americans and uh, three all-conferences and one of the best servers in the league. So, yeah, we, we've lost a lot, and I think that the key is that we went to nationals and the kids got their win at nationals and the ones that weren't. Uh, the All-Americans understood what it takes to be that level and, and got to the show and got to see what it is and got a taste for, you know, the upper levels of NAI. And I think that that's, that's a huge, huge accomplishment and, and something that they understand now. I don't have to preach to them what it takes. They've seen it live. We've been there. We, we did some great things against some great teams. So that's one of those things that's a beautiful thing. But reloading, obviously, is one of those things. And then relying on some freshmen as well as some uh, uh, um, upperclassmen to get the job done. So, I mean, it's going to be one of those. This is going to have to be a, a work at everything game or year because uh, everybody sees that 20-0 target on our back. 
Well, Coach, you used the word beautiful. It was a beautiful season. Pleasure to see you today. Thanks for catching up with me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Say hi to the family and uh, hope you guys stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you in August. Yes, so we're planning on it. So I'm hoping that everything uh, uh, continues to go well. We got, like I said, uh, uh, 10 recruits coming in that'll help and add. And then again, Jason, thank you for all your help and support. It's amazing uh, uh, to see this as we went along the whole season. Uh, you were there uh, every match that you could. So that was amazing to see, and I really appreciate that. Thanks, Go Coach Blue Coach. Devils. Go Blue Devils. I love supporting you.